Welcome back everyone to Conceptual Physics Momentum. We are going to talk about our next type of collision, inelastic collision. Last time we did perfectly inelastic collisions where they stick together. This time they're going to be bouncing off of each other. Okay, so inelastic collisions are collisions where objects that collide with each other continue to move as separate entities instead of together like perfectly, but lose some kinetic energy from the collision. Okay, so this can be an example of one. This ball is going fast. This one's going a little slower. They collide. And then after collision, this one goes a bit slower and this one goes fast. Okay, but they start out separate. They collide and they end separate. Okay. Uh, in this kind of collision, momentum is conserved, meaning the amount of momentum the object has before the collision is the same after the collision. Connect energy is lost within the collision. So there's a certain amount of momentum one object has another momentum and that's going to be equal to after the collision they're going to have the the total is going to be equal to the same amount okay okay so let's do some examples to check this out example number 12 we have a 0 0.5 kilogram blue ball that is traveling at six meters per second collides head out with a one kilogram red ball moving in the opposite direction at a speed of 12 meters per second all right let's just write things down 0 0.5 six meters per second a uh, one kilogram ball moving in the opposite direction, 12 meters per second. The 0 0.5 kilogram ball bounces backwards at 14 meters per second, okay? And we wanna find the speed of this one. Okay, so drawing it out, important. So remember, with momentum, with collisions, almost all the time we're gonna be thinking about what the momentum was before the collision and what the momentum was after the collision to help us solve for these. So we have this, 0 0.5 kilogram ball going 6 meters per second to the right before the collision. We have this 1 kilogram red ball going to the left, so negative 12 meters per second before the collision. After the collision, we know that the 0 0.5 kilogram ball is now going to the left uh, 14 meters per second, so that's negative. And we don't know which way or how fast the red ball is going, which is, but we do know it's 1 kilogram. So we're looking for this velocity of the red ball. Uh, all right, so let's simplify this by doing some math. So we got three minus 12. So we got negative nine here is equal to negative seven plus the, the velocity of the red ball. I'm gonna add seven. So we have negative two is equal to the velocity of the red ball. So find the speed even though it's going to be going two meters per second to the left, as we found, uh, what we should know is it's asking for the speed, so that's not asking for direction, so it's just going to be two meters per second. Okay? All right, moving on. Um, okay, conceptual example number 22. A car is moving 42 meters per second. Um, let me just write this down. 42 meters per second. When a rear end of truck moving at 30 meters per second. Right after the collision, will the truck be going a faster? B, slower, C, the same speed before it was hit. Uh, anyway, take a pause if you want to uh, guess or take an educated guess. But we should know that it is going to be going faster. So if this guy is going and then gets hit, that means he's going to be getting a little boost. So he's going to be going faster than 30 meters per second. All right, conceptual example number 23. A car is moving 42 meters per second when a rear end of truck moving at 30 meters per second. Okay, so very similar. Right after the collision, will the car be going A, faster, B, slower, uh, C, the same speed? So very similar. So this car is going fast, but it's almost like it's hitting like some kind of a slowly moving wall. So as it does that, it is definitely going to be going slower. Okay. All right, let's look at this example number 13. A 400 kilogram car 400, is moving at 42 meters per second when it rear ends a 700 kilogram car moving at 30 meters per second. Uh, right after the collision, the car moves with a speed of 22 meters per second. With what speed does the truck move with? Okay, so we, we don't know what the velocity of the truck is. That's what we're looking for. We should know it's going to be more than 30 meters per second. Okay, so per usual, we're going to look at the momentum before the collision and after the collision. So we have this 400 kilogram car going 42 meters per second. Then we have this truck, 700 kilogram, going 30 meters per second before the collision. After the collision, we know that the 400 kilogram car is now going 22 meters per second, but we don't know what the 700 kilogram truck, the speed of that is. So I'm gonna do velocity of truck. 
Okay, so let's simplify this a bit. 400 times 42 plus 700 times 30 is equal to 37. Oops. Dirt. Whoa, 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 whoa. 37,800 is equal to 400 times 22, uh, 8,800 plus 700 velocity of the truck. I'm going to first subtract 8,800 from both sides. And let me put this in. So 37,800 minus 8,800 is equal to 29,000. And this will be equal to 700 velocity of truck. I'll divide both sides by 700. And we can see that the velocity of the truck after the collision is 29,000 divided by 700, which is 41.43 meters per second. Okay. All right, moving on. All right, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, next time we are going to be talking about explosions, which seems complicated, but it's a lot more of the same. Uh, we'll see how that is. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.